What is going guys? Welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel. Today we've got something really cool. Today we're going to be talking about some of my favourite stadiums all around the world. So like the best looking ones. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Okay, so first up, we have the Dignity Health Sports Park in Los Angeles. Now, this is a pretty nice stadium. This is obviously isn't rated in any single, like, any rank or anything, uh, but this stadium just looks so unique. Uh, I mean, when you look at it, it's got, like, kind of, like, a hill in the, like, on the side of the stands, uh, and personally, I think it looks really nice. It's kind of, like, a, a comfy sort of feel, but also modern, uh, so... I think this is quite a nice stadium, you got to admit, when you look at this picture. Okay, so up next we got Eden Park in New Zealand. Now, Eden Park alone has got so much rugby history, obviously for the All Blacks and Super Rugby as well. And obviously Lions Tours as well. I'm pretty sure you played a few Lions Tours there. Uh, but yeah, it, I mean, ignoring history-wise, this park is such a nice stadium to look at. Uh, the shape of it, when it's all lit up at night as well, I just personally feel this is going to be one of the best stadiums in the world to see. Uh, and like I said the history as well helps so personally I think this is a pretty pretty nice stadium Okay, so next up we have Ellis Park in South Africa now This is a nice stadium as well. Obviously, I'm gonna say like all these stadiums are nice uh, But these are kind of like my unique stadiums. I like uh, I have this one has got to be a really cool stadium Just look look at the surroundings. Obviously, you've got all those buildings in the background uh, But with this one, I think it just stands out uh, and it's like the scenery looks like a normal city sort of city town whatever you want to call it because it's obviously got smaller buildings compared to the stadium uh, and then you look at the stadium it's risen above the bit uh, above all the buildings it's like kind of lit up it's all in red and everything and personally i just feel it, it looks really cool uh and it's just the surroundings and the location of where it is uh and it's just like overall it just feels like a proper south african stadium if that makes sense uh and it just it just looks nice it, there's, there's not really too much else to say about it, but I think it's a really nice stadium. Alright, so next up we have King's Home in Gloucester. Now, I think this is a pretty cool stadium. Just Obviously, it's a club stadium, uh, but it's small and like kind of like a sort of an old-looking ground, but also like it just looks really nice. Like this photo you're looking at right now, obviously it was done, I think it's the 2015 World Cup when it was all done up and stuff for it. Uh, but... I mean, when you look at it with the sunset going down over it, and it's all lit up and stuff, but it's not dark, it looks like a rich English history stadium. And personally, I feel like that looks quite nice. It kind of like brings you back to like the old, say like the 90s or 2000s era of rugby itself in these small little parks, but like it, it was just rich in rugby. Uh, and that is why I just think this stadium stands out compared to like the bigger ones as well. Okay, so next up we have Murrayfield in Scotland. Now Murrayfield it obviously is it's got so much history to it, uh, and it's just one of the biggest stadiums that I like looking at. Uh, I mean, when we see it on Six Nations and everything, when you have like a live game in Scotland, and they're playing the bagpipes and they've got like the cannons going off and the fireworks. It's just got to be one of the best stadiums to look at. I mean, when I'm watching like even when when I don't watch Wales, my home country. And I'm watching Scotland play in Murrayfield. I've always wanted to back Scotland just because of the atmosphere that they have. The size of the stadium, like I said. And it's just the crowd when it's full. And the, the literally, it, the, just the atmosphere alone is just amazing. And when it's fully full, uh, it just looks like one of the best stadiums in the world, personally. And, well, for rugby anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's got to be one of the best stadiums. For rugby personally. So up next we have the Newlands Stadium in South Africa. Now the Newlands Stadium obviously inside it looks kind of like, like an average sort of sports stadium that you would see all around the world. I mean don't get me wrong it's got its own uniqueness and stuff to it uh, but the one of the standout things that makes this stadium look so nice is the panoramic view you have behind the stadium uh, of the, just that mountainscape towering over it. It just looks so so nice. Uh, obviously with that being in the daytime you see it a lot better than nighttime uh, but when it's in the evening like you see in this picture and the stadium's all lit up it's not too dark and you can see them like those mountains towering over it it just looks so so cool it looks it's kind of like a unique sort of atmosphere you don't have in any in many stadiums around the world because you've got this big mountainscape towering over it and not many stadiums have that uh, so yeah the Newland Stadium's got to be one of the coolest ones out there as well 
Okay, so up next we have the Parc des Sports Marcel Michelin, uh, which is a stadium in France. I'm pretty sure it's for Clermont. Uh, now this stadium in this picture, as you can see guys, is just, you don't need to describe it, it's just such a nice looking stadium. On a bright summer's day, uh, literally you can see everything, it's just like a nice shape to it, it looks modern, the grass is like pure, just green, uh, and you've just got the whole of France then towering around you of the hills in the distance. It's such a nice ground, especially when it's full of all the Clermont fans or whatever rugby fans you've got in there. It's a really nice ground to be, it just looks so nice and it's really unique as well. Uh, and yeah, personally it's probably one of the best stadiums in France. Up next we have the Principality Stadium, obviously this has to be on my list, me being Welsh. The Principality Stadium is the one in Cardiff in Wales. Now this alone has got to be one of the best stadiums out there just because of the opening and closing roof, which we don't really have in many rugby stadiums. Uh, also again the atmosphere on a full house, like literally when the stadium is completely full and it's like the likes of England v Wales at night or something like that. The atmosphere is just brilliant, it's all dark, they light it up with like uh, strobe lighting, fireworks, flames, you name it, it's all there, and the cannons and stuff. And personally I feel it's one of the greatest atmospheres in rugby. Like, even if it's a big game like uh, Wales vs All Blacks, or even if it's a small game like Wales vs, uh, who did I go to see, Wales vs Smoa. It's always literally a great atmosphere there. When the roof is closed it echoes, it's like a surround sound sort of area. It's cold, especially when it's in November when I was there, but it is a really, really nice ground to be in and it just makes you feel like kind of like an echoey, eerie when you're in there, but it's it's a really good feeling. Up next then we have the Stade de France. Now the Stade de France has obviously got to be one of the best stadiums out there, uh, just because of the sheer size of it. I mean, when you look at this picture right now, when it's full for a rugby game, or whatever game, like football or whatever, is literally one of the best stadiums out there. Again, when it's all lit up, back in the 2007 World Cup, when they had the World Cup final there, I'm pretty sure it was there anyway, or semi-final. Uh, and they lit it up with fireworks and so on. It was just absolutely insane. The atmosphere is just brilliant there. Uh, I mean, if you are a rugby fan and you want to go to a really cool away game, I would probably say the Stade de France Stadium is one of the best ones for you to go to. Just because of the sheer atmosphere, the echoing of all the crowd singing, uh, the French horns that you have in the crowd, uh, the anthems, it, everything there is insane. Gotta be. So up next and final in our list is Twickenham. Twickenham Stadium has got to be one of the best stadiums out there as well. Like I feel like I've said that with every single stadium, but I've got to. I mean, this is this whole video is the tree, the best stadiums in rugby. Uh, so yeah, I mean, literally looking at this picture right now, this was for the 2015 Rugby World Cup uh, final. I'm pretty sure it was. But when it's lit up with flames, fireworks at night, it's just insane. Although we don't have many night games there, it's still pretty, a really nice atmosphere. Uh, whether it's you're watching England at home or you're watching like uh, I don't know a sevens game or a club game there it is probably one of the best stadiums there with the atmosphere the singing uh, and just overall it's got a really rich English rugby feel to it like a national team feel to it uh, so that's why they're in my list as well hey guys without further ado hopefully you have enjoyed today's video of the best stadiums in rugby uh, please make sure you go ahead and smash the like button down below to show your support and let me know in the comment section as well if I've missed any stadiums out. Please let me know. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe as well. We upload rugby videos every single day. Literally every day this week. I don't know how long it's going to go on for. Uh, but yeah, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, click that notification button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And I will see you in another video. Peace out, guys. I'll be right there all of a sudden I feel your heart